Good morning. Today we celebrate the liturgy for Easter Sunday and the resurrection of the Lord. Christ is victorious, conquering sin and death. The celebrant of today's Mass is Monsignor Stephen Camp, assisted by Deacon Jerry Rourke. The bread and wine memorial for this Mass is for Brian W. O'Connor. The readings may be found in the hymnal at number 1009 or in the Holy Week Missalette at page 195. Please be sure to silence all cell phones and electronic devices at this time. Please rise and join in the singing of our opening hymn, number 473 in the One in Faith hymnal, entitled Jesus Christ is Risen Today. Hymn number 473, immediately after the singing of the entrance antiphon. We will sing verses one, two, and four. See 
Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Now we acknowledge our sinfulness as we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, I say, Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, give us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest.
O God, who on this day at your only begotten Son of conquered death and unlock for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up to the light of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sin through his name. The word of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad.
This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batter of dough, inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Please join in the singing of the Easter sequence number 460 in the One in Faith hymnal entitled, Let Christians All Their Voices Raise, number 460. The choir will sing the odd-numbered verses alone, and the congregation is invited to sing the even-numbered verses and the refrains. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. From heaven above, saved all creation, sin removed, restored us to the Father's love. Oh, praise the Lamb. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. His glory brightens us this day. Oh, praise the Lamb.
Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ our Paschal Lamb has been sacrificed, then let us feast with joy in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy Easter. Today, in the second reading, St. Paul speaks about the leaven, how things rise, how things are made. And the baking practices of biblical times was that whenever you baked a loaf of bread, you always kept some of the dough to be kneaded into the next loaf. This way, the yeast would go from loaf to loaf and allow it to be kneaded and to bake a good loaf of bread. But St. Paul says not to mix the old with the new. And he tells us not to mix the old with the new because all of us have been given the leaven of Christ. We all have been given the resurrection, that which makes us rise. And as we celebrate Easter Sunday, we celebrate resurrection. We celebrate the beginning of the life of Christ, but we also celebrate our own faith life on this day. And St. Paul says, If we want to start over and have a good start, let's not mix anything from the past. Let's begin all anew. And there we then have through our own life the ability to rise above within our own human frailty. All of us in some way, shape or form have something that holds us back We pass it from year to year as we get older. 
It was kind of like watching the Mets the other day. They, they are beginning right where they left off. <laughs> and so St. Paul tells us the worst thing we can do is try to take with us things of our past that have taken away from us in our growing. And see, when the Lord rises from the dead on Easter Sunday, as he enters into life, he brings us with him, and he gives us the ability within our own life to rise again. We so often in our life hold on to our past. We bring it with us wherever we go. And many times our past is what holds us back because it's the part of our life that we do not believe God can forgive. It's the part of our life that we ourselves cannot forgive ourselves for. And we allow this to be passed on in our life year after year, and it begins to pull us back and away from God. But see, God wants to be able to need us. He wants to be able to work ourselves as that, as that dough and allow him to allow us to rise, which means it begins with forgiveness. Now, we all say oh, God forgives, yes, but do we know how to forgive ourselves? Do we know how to let it go? Because ultimately, we become our own demise because we move so far in our faith life, our spiritual life, and then we remember we did this, we did that, and we begin to believe God can't forgive me, I can't forgive myself. But the reality is God always forgives. And we also have to understand that through that forgiveness, he tells us that we have to know how to forgive ourselves. We all carry the past with us in some way, shape, or form. And the more we carry it with us, the greater the roadblock is for the ability to God to work with us in our own life. On the resurrection of Christ, all is forgiven. All is let go. And so we have to have the courage in our own life to bury our past and rise with Christ and let the past be the past and not be imprisoned by it. Because ultimately that's what we do. We imprison ourselves with our past and we hold on to it. And we then say, well, this is the reason why I can't do this. This is the reason why I can't do that. This is the reason why I know God will never forgive me. Well, all of a sudden we've now put ourselves in the place of God and decided what he will and won't forgive. When Christ rises from the dead, he is the ultimate victor over sin and death. And through that resurrection, he gives us the ability in our own life to rise above and to move beyond. We accept the forgiveness of God. We must also know how to forgive ourselves. The longer we hold on to the sins of the yesteryear, the more difficult it is for us to move forward in life. The resurrection of Christ is about always moving forward, knowing how much God forgives and loves us because that's why he sent his son to and for us. And he tells us, as through the letters of St. Paul today, don't bring the past into the future. Celebrate the future as God gives it to us, as St. Paul says, as a fresh new batch as fresh dough with nothing of the past, which allows God to work within us, that allows us to rise and move forward. On this Easter Sunday, remember above all to forgive, maybe others in your life, but above all, forgive yourself first. Please now stand. On this Easter Sunday, in place of the creed, we will be renewing our baptismal promises 
and being blessed with the Easter water. My dear brothers and sisters through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so we may walk with him in the newness of life. And so now that our Lent of observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so now I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Live in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Live in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, suffered death, was buried, rose from the get rose again from the dead, now seated at the right hand of the Father, I do. Believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting, I do. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, bestowed on us forgiveness of our sin, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life, amen. trouble and I get caught. Men's and men's. In peace now, let us turn and offer our prayer to the Lord. Our response will be, risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the church in this season of joy, may the Holy Spirit empower us to share the good news with all. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve in the judicial system and in law enforcement, may the Lord guide them in the ways of justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all who do not yet believe or understand, may the light of the risen Christ draw them for faith and truth, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, 
May we be drawn more deeply into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ through his loving power, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the Middle East and in all areas of the world, suffering from war, terrorism, and aggression, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those serving in the armed forces and for our emergency responders, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and suffering of our parish and for all our deceased, especially Stephen Leggett, Janet Brasco, and Regina Prezzano, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, may they rest in eternal peace in God's heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Easter Novena, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we ask you to hear and to pay heed to these prayers we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits. Pray about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.
pray now, my brothers and sisters, that this might, our sacrifice may accept for God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Exalted with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer you the sacrifice by which your church is one as we born and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times we claim your Lord on this day. Above all to Lord you make most gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with possible joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petitions through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant your peace, to guide, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all those holding on to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who are gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise that they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and help of health and well-being in paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and our Lord Jesus Christ. And bless Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and Mattis, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelia, Shipron, Lawrence, Kotsakinus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Dana, and all your saints. We ask that through their merit and prayers and all things be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of the whole church, make, which we make to you also for those for whom have been pleased to give new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness and all of their sins, 
Order our days in your peace and command be delivered for eternal damnation and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, to prove this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O oh God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more, giving him thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <laughs> when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, if you celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion and resurrection from the dead and glorious ascension to heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with serene and kindly countenance to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and offering your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask, O mighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hand of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, and be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them all, O Lord, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your sinners, for those sinners, hope in your abundant mercy, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicita, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. And may us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merit, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things of law. You sanctify them, filled with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Taught by the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we are free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to wholesome peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on a sin, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Jerry. Jerry. Our parish announcements. There will be a funeral mass for Stephen Leggett on Tuesday, April 2nd at 9.45 a.m. There will be a funeral mass for Regina Ray Prezano on Thursday, April 4th at 9.45 a.m. There will be a funeral mass for Janet B. Brasco on Friday, April 5th at 9.45 a.m. Please join us on April 3rd, Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. as we pray together through scripture and silent prayer before the Blessed Sacrament for the Sanctity of Life. There will be confessions on Thursday, April 4th from 4 till 4.45 p.m. Please join us on our first Friday devotion on April 5th at 7.30 p.m. And please join us on our first Saturday novena on April 6th at 8 a.m. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O oh God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mystery, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Just a brief word uh, to say again, Happy Easter to everyone. Thank you for being here to participate in the liturgies and your continued support of the parish. As always, a special thank you to Matthew, the choir, and the quartet for adding. <laughs> you have two assignments for today. Assignment number one, you must be nice to each other in the parking lot as you leave Mass today. <laughs> Assignment two, 
as you have Easter dinner with family and friends. You are not to discuss politics at all. <laughs> The Lord be with you. May the Lord bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join in the singing of our recessional hymn, hymn number 469, Hymn of Joy, hymn number 469. We will sing verses 1, 2, and 4. Speak. 